Hey guys, welcome back to another Zero Linux video. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about basic scripting. What do I mean by basic scripting? I'm going to teach you today how to create a basic GUI to install your drivers, update the system, install your packages from Arch or AUR, and any flat packs you might use. And we're going to be using YAD, which stands for yet another dialogue. It gives a GUI to your BAS scripts. And to show you what it looks like, there you go. My nemesis tool, my nemesis tool for installing apps and drivers for my X570 Ryzen 5 system. And today's lesson is going to be for one system. In the next video, it's going to be a more complex version where we deal with the same thing, but for multiple systems. But to keep it short, I'll begin with this one. I'll split it into multiple videos. So this one is just the basic version, just so you get an idea. Okay, let's close this uh, GUI and show you what it's made of. So zero nemesis. This is how YAD begins. So we remove that. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so it's a bin bash. It's a bash script. So it, it always has to start with this. This line is necessary. Then, since it, to, to indicate that it's YAD, to use YAD, we say YAD dash dash title quote in quotations, then the title, what you see here, like zero nemesis here, dash Kate, this is what shows here. So if you, you type here, whatever you want to call it, let's say driver's tool, uh, post install tool, whatever you want to call it. Then dash dash form, space, dash dash columns, how many columns you want to have it, you want to give it, dash dash width, dash dash height, dash dash text, and in quotations, you just do the description as you, I read to you earlier. And if you want to add a, an icon to it, that's not necessary. If you wish, you can add one. If you don't, you just tell it where the icon is, where the uh, image for the icon is. Anyway, I'm going to have a template of this on my GitHub. You can just git clone it, fork it, and modify it to your heart's content. But I'm just, in case of, uh, for teaching, I'm just showing you what it's made of. And then you do the dash dash field, and then in quotes you do you name you give it a name you give the button a name what's the label of the button, then semicolon f button because it's a button to indicate that it's a button. Then you do the scripting here. So console is since we're using KDE, it's console. You can change it to if for XFCE I think it's XFCE four dash uh, terminal, for GNOME it's GNOME dash terminal and so on. So in the case of KDE, console dash dash no close, so the window doesn't close once done, dash execute dash, uh, sorry, space sh, so execute the script, shell script, and you tell it where the script is. In our case, it's in the folder scripts, and the file, the, the script is called sysupdate. And you do, uh, you end it with a trailing space and backslash. And you, so, and you add as many buttons as you want. But this is how it's done. So you have to have the field indicate it's a button, and then tell it what to execute, what to use, and what to uh, what to execute use, using uh, the console. And then at the end, you finish it up by dash dash button equals exit semicolon one. That's yeah. So. I'm going to save that. Now we go to the scripts. For our Arch packages, to install our Arch packages, this is how it goes. It's a bash script, indicate that it is. Then instead of using Pac-Man, let's say yay. That way we can mix and match Arch packages with AUR ones. Or if you want, you can keep it as before, 
use Pacman on a group of Pacman packages, and then you go on a new line, you do yay dash s space package 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 uh, package names, and then you finish the script by a reboot. You list the packages. Since I don't use AUR packages, I replaced them with flat packs ever since. You just do this and or, and you can finish since it's one command, I just do ambers uh, and and reboot. It's very simple. Just sudo pacman dash s dash dash no confirm. So you don't need to hit yes, 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 yes for every package. And dash dash only install the needed things. Maybe you installed something and instead of uh, ending up installing it twice and wasting time, you just do only install the needed. So that's how you do it for this script. For drivers, since I know what drivers I need, I remove the Intel U code since I am on AMD. I keep the AMD one and then I install the drivers and any kernel, extra kernels you want to install, like Zen, like uh, LTS, etc. And then reboot. For flatbacks, it's a little bit more complex. To get the names of the packages, you go to Flat Hub, click the package name, scroll all the way down, copy the package name from here, right click, copy, and paste here. That's it. And to find out uh, if you want to install OBS with all its plugins, which we include on Zero Linux, to find out the names of the plugins, you'll have to do uh, an extra step. You just type flatback install OBS. It will look for any matches. Anything that begins with runtime and then com.obsproject.studio.plugin, those are the plugins. So you just copy from here. You select, anyway, you get the idea. You copy and then you paste. Once that's done, you have all your uh, flatbacks listed in here. Save the text. And that's it. And to show you what uh, sysupdate uses, we use yay-syyu. I decorated it a little bit, saying checking system for updates. Checking for system updates, uh, yay-syyu. All right. And with that, I think I covered everything. If you want, you can host it on your own repository, but we won't. This is just for you to keep on a USB or something. It's very useful, very handy. And I'll show it to you again. Execute. There you go. You end up with something like this. Update system, which uses yay, as we saw. Install drivers. You can install your drivers. Install arch slash AUR packages. And install all those flat packs. You have yourself a GUI to install to get your system up and running. All right. This was lesson one. In the next lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to, to take this GUI script to the next level. All right? So let me know what you thought about this lesson, if you like this kind of videos uh, or you don't, what, what, I, what, what I can do to make them better, shorten them, make them more concise. Please ignite the discussion. Let's discuss. Without this uh, discussion, I can't know what how to make my videos any better. That being said, this is Dark Zero signing off.